Today we're going to be making fermented buckwheat bread. The main ingredients in this bread are raw buckwheat groats and water, plus a bit of thyme. The key here is that you're not using toasted buckwheat groats, which are the kind that you would use to make a kasha or a pilaf. That's not the kind we're using and the bread won't work with these. But these guys, they're sort of beige-ish green. They make an excellent buckwheat bread. This bread is grain-free, gluten-free, vegetarian, vegan, egg-free. In fact, it's probably easier to tell you what is in this bread. It's raw buckwheat groats, water, and a couple of other add-ins that don't even really count. So I'm gonna show you how to make it, and it's so freaking good. Add 500 grams of raw buckwheat groats to a bowl with 600 mils of filtered water. Cover and let it sit for 12 to 24 hours. The next day, you're going to add in a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of honey, and another 150 mils of water, and you're going to blend it until it's completely uniform. Let it sit for another 24 hours. The next day it's going to look like a science experiment. It's going to be bubbly, frothy, it's going to smell kind of funky. It's all part of the magic. You're going to add in whatever you'd like to add in. Here I'm using hemp seeds and sesame seeds and you're going to pour it into a prepared loaf tin and bake it at 350 for anywhere from 50 minutes to an hour and a half. Listen to this crunch. This bread is absolutely phenomenal when it's extremely toasted. I'm talking two rounds in the toaster until it's golden, crunchy, and delicious.